Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about five summary numbers and the box plot. First, we are going to define box plot. Box plot can be used to graphically represent the data set. So this is one way of representing the data. And in this one, instead of using the uh, actual data point, we use the calculated values from the data point to draw the box. Box plot involve five specific numbers called five summary numbers. And those five numbers are the minimum value in the data set, maximum value in the data set, and three quartiles, first quartile, second quartile or median, and the third quartile. This is the representation of the box plot. So what we do is we draw a box extending from the first quartile up to third quartile with the median in the middle and then we draw the whisker extending from the right end of the box to the maximum value and left end of the box to the minimum value. So this is the quick representation of the box plot. We can use box plot to quickly explain the skewness in the data if any. That is by looking at the box plot we'll be able to tell whether the data is skewed to the left, skewed to the right, or it is normal. Okay, first, we are going to work on this example. Construct a box plot for the following data representing the heights of 40 students in a statistic class. So here, we have the data. Here we have the height of 40 students in the class. And when you look at this data, we can see that the data is already well arranged. If not, we have to arrange this data because in constructing the box plot, we have to find the quartiles. And in order to find the quartiles, the data must be arranged in ascending order. Now, we can easily tell what is the minimum value. Here, the minimum value is 59. Uh, we can write that first. So let me write that. The minimum value is 59 maximum value is by looking at the data set the maximum value is 77 but we don't know what is first quartile what is second quartile and what is third quartile we can find the first second and third quartile manually or we can use calculator to quickly find the first second and third quartile here i am going to calculate the quartiles using calculator for this, we need to first enter the given data in the calculator. So we go to stat and then number one. Then you'll see the list here. So in list one, enter all the information given, enter all the data values, enter all 40 data values. So here we enter all those values and you can see that I entered all 40 observations here. Then after we enter these observations, we go back to stat again, and then go to calculate, and we select number one, which is one variable stat. Then what we do is we come down, see your data value is in list one. We come down to calculate and hit enter. So you'll get this screen. Let me make it big. Okay, you'll see that screen. And in this screen, you can clearly see you already have the minimum of 59, which we have already written. Here you can see the first quartile is 64.5. If you move, if you hit this down arrow like that a couple of times, you will see the median, which is 66. Median is Q2. Q3 is 70. And the maximum value is 77. So by looking at the calculator, we are going to list these five numbers minimum, first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, and maximum. So these five numbers which are here, these are the five summary numbers that we use for the, calc for the construction of the box plot. So we have our five summary numbers here. Minimum 59, maximum 77, Q1 64.5, Q2 or median 66, and Q3 third quartile 77. We need to draw the box plot and we can see that the data extends from 59 up to 77. 
So first we are going to draw a line and scale that so that it includes all the information from 59 up to 77. So we have that scale here from 55 up to 80 in a difference of 5, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, so that it includes everything from 59 up to 77. First, we are going to locate Q1 above this line. So Q1 is 64.5, 65 is here. So 64.5 should be somewhere in between, which is close to 65. So your Q1, you can consider Q1 here. Then Q2 or median is 66, 65 is here, 66 is somewhere there, so this is 66. And then you have Q3 which is 77, oh Q3 it is 77, is that 77? Let me recheck that. Okay, here we have this scale from 55 up to 80 that includes all the numbers. Now let's plot these values. Q1 is 64.5, 65 is here. So 64.5 should be here. Median is 66, which is right here, a little bit above 65. And Q3 is 70, which is right here. So we draw a box extending from Q1 up to Q3. So if I draw the box, box will look like this. And also in the middle, we draw this. So this is Q1, this one is Q2, and this is Q3. Now after that, from the middle of the box here, we draw a line up to the minimum value. Minimum is 59, so we come up to 59 like this, the minimum value. That line is called the whisker. We also draw the line from the middle of the box to the maximum value. Maximum value is 77. So up to here. So that is the maximum value. And the box drawn here is called the box plot. Okay, it is called the box plot or sometimes called the box and whisker plot because you can see these lines are called the whiskers and this one in the middle is called the box. So the diagram we have created here is box and whisker plot. Now let's talk about some important feature of the box and whisker plot. We can use the box and whisker plot to explain the skewness of the data. skewness of data. That is, we can tell in what direction the data is skewed. The first one is using the length of whisker. Using the length of whisker. For example, in this picture here, the whisker is longer to the right. So meaning of that is this data is skewed right. So here, the data is skewed to the right. Because you have longer whisker on the right. Second, we can explain the skewness of the data by looking at the position of mean. By looking at the position of mean. So what we do is, we look at the calculator and we we look at the mean. Let's see what is the mean. If we go all the way up here, mean is 67.175. So 67, you can see your Q2 is 66. So 67 is more than that. So it is here. So you can see that the mean is, the middle line is the median. Mean is more than median. Okay. Here in this case, mean is greater than median. If that is the case, the data is skewed to the right. So here, the data is skewed to the right. If it was on the left or if it was smaller than median, then it will be skewed to the left. Here it is skewed to the right. 
So note that if the mean is less than median, the data will be skewed to the left. If mean is less than median, the data is skewed to the left. So this is the first example on box and whisker plot. Let's solve one more example on this. Okay, here is the second example. Construct a box plot of the data set. So in order to construct the box plot, we need the five summary number. Five summary numbers. And when we say five summary numbers, we need the minimum value, we need first quartile, we need second quartile or median, we need the third quartile, and we need the maximum value. Now let's see what is given. So construct a box plot of a data set with the median 50, median or Q2 is given, a minimum of 20, so that is your minimum value, 20, Q1 is given, then maximum value of 90, so maximum is also given. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 information is given out of 5, but they have given IQR. So we are going to use this IQR to find the missing number from 5 summary numbers. You can see that the missing number, we have Q1, that is Q2. We don't have Q3. So first, we are going to find Q3 using this interquartile range. So if you recall what is IQR, IQR is Q3 minus Q1, interquartile range. IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So Q3, we don't know what it is, minus your Q1 is 42 equal to, they have given IQR, which is 29. Now, if we add 42 on both sides, your Q3 will be 29 plus 42. 29 plus 42. So your Q3 is 29 plus 42 is 71. So we have 71 as Q3. Now we have all five summary numbers. So we can use this information to create the box plot. Note that the minimum value is 20 and maximum value is 90. So we need to draw this scale over here, going from 20 up to 90. So we can count by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and draw this scale. Let's draw that. Okay, here is the scale extending from 20 through 90. Now first we look at Q1, which is 42, little above 40. So 42 is here. And then uh, we need Q2, which is 50, right here. And then Q3, which is just calculated here, it's 71, little more than 70. So we draw a box from Q1 through Q3. So Q1 through Q3, you can draw a box here. And here we draw this line for the median. So this is Q1, this is Q2 or median, and this is Q3. Now we need to draw the whisker. So extending from the middle of the box to the minimum value, minimum value is 20. So we draw this whisker. And on the other side, we draw the whisker from the middle of the box to the maximum value of 90. So this is maximum of 90. So this is minimum. If you want to calculate the length of the whisker, this is from 70 up to 90, which is 20 units. This side, it is from 20 up to 42, so this is 22. That means this side to the left, the whisker is long, so this data is skewed to the left. So if you want to write about skewness, the data is skewed to the left. Let me write that, the data set is left skewed in this case, left skewed. And we answered that using the length of the whisker because the whisker on the left is slightly longer than the whisker on the right. So that is the second example on the box plot and five summary number. And this is the end of this video. 
Thank you so much for watching this. I hope this is helpful.